Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to download a satellite picture and animate it. So we go to the FTP internet setup, make sure the internet switch is on, HTTP download. Now I've got my satellite picture to download and I'll add it the URL here and then I'm going to put a local file name and I'll add that to them. Downloads are on uh, every 15 minutes. Now, I'm not going to do an upload, but if you were, you would put an, a file name here and add it to the uploads. Okay. Now, I'm going to let those start building some satellite pictures, and there'll be a sequence, and we'll come back when it has done so. Okay, I've um, got a sequence of animated images or sequence of images now downloaded. So if we go to view, downloaded images, and you click on open file, and we select that one. Okay, so that's the sequence, that's the one downloaded. Now we now click on remember this file. And now let's click on animate. And we've now got an animated GIF. Okay. And we can click to upload that to the website. Um, and you can actually pause animation and just select on one of these images in the sequence. Like that, you can go backwards and forwards, see. Okay, and if we wanted to um, animate auto, so next time we come into the screen, it'll automatically do that. Now, we can also have that animated GIF visible on the main screen. So you go to Advanced, Miscellaneous, Main Program, Customize. Now, first of all, enable to be able to make the screen wider. Okay. Then we go back and let's choose a custom image. So tick to show custom image, select file. So we want to show that animated GIF. It's going to be in the web files folder. We're going to scroll down and find it. Here it is here, animated HTTP file. And we've got click to show that now. Here is the image here. So we should be able to hold down the shift and remove the mouse. And we should be able to make it a bit Okay, there's my animated GIF. Now we can save those changes so then that's remembered the next time the program starts. 